Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Java application with MySQL database or any database using JDBC. So for that, we need to follow the five steps. The first step is to register the driver class. The second step is to create the connection object. The third step is to create the statement object. And the fourth step is to execute the query. And the last step is to close the connection. And also we need to add the jar file as well. So before that, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you will get the newer updates. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this tutorial, I will be using Intel IZ. So if you are comfortable with Eclipse or NetBeans, you can use that as well. So let me just open my Intel IZ here. And let me quickly create the new project. And choose the Java version and click on next, next. So let me quickly give the name here. Let me call it JDBC MySQL Demo. And let me just click on finish. And let me create a new class here. And let me call it JDBC Demo and click enter. So this will create the JDBC Demo class here. Let me write the main method. And the first step is to register the driver class. So for that, we will be using the for name. So just type class dot for name and just type com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc dot driver. So this is the first step. So here we just need to give the try catch block. Just type try and catch. So give the exception. So we will be printing the exception, whatever the exception it comes, if there is some exception. So the first step is done. So the next step is to create the connection. So for that, we will be using the get connection method of the driver manager. So just type the connection and connection equals to driver manager dot get connection. So this get connection is basically used to create the connection. And inside here, we need to pass the three parameter. The first parameter is URL. So just type string URL. So we just need to give the URL of our database. So just type JDBC MySQL localhost and 3306 and the database name. So just give something like JDBC and demo. So now we just need to create the database JDBC demo. So for that, open your jam control panel and just start this apache and mysql and just go to this psp my admin and let me click on new and let me call it jdbc demo and let me just create and also we need to create a table as well so for that let me just call it student and let me just give three columns here and just click on go and we just need to create id it's of type integer. Let me give the size 20 and also name. It's of type bar care and just give something like 40 and just give the age and it's of type integer and give something like 3. And if I just click on save, so this will create the student table with these fields ID, name, and age. So also we want to insert some data as well. So for that, just go to this insert here and just give some data one and we can give something like Arjun and is 23. We can give something like two and just give some name like John and age 20. And let me just click on go. So this will save two datas inside our student table. So you can see here ID one and ID two data this data has been saved into our student table. So now let me just go to the Intel IZ here and just type string username and I've got the default username root. So if you have custom username, just give that. And also we need to give the password as well. For that, just type string password. And again here, I've got the default passwords, blank password. So we, I don't need to give any. So if you have got custom password, you just give accordingly. And I just need to pass these parameters here. Just type URL and username and password. So this will basically create the connection. 
So the second step is also done. So the third step is to create the statement object. So for that we have got the create statement from connection object. So for that just type the statement and statement equals connection dot create statement. So the third step is also done. So now the fourth step is to execute the query. So for that we will be using the execute query method of the statement interface. So this method basically returns all the objects of the result set that can be used to get the result of the table. So for that we will be just typing result set result set and just type the result result set equals statement dot we will be using execute query and inside here we will be just writing the query here so we basically want to get all the data from that table so for that we just need to write select star from student table so we will just write student and we want to display play all the data so for that we just need to write while result set dot next we want to print all data so for that just type result set dot get so the first data is id which is of type integer we just need to give get int and one so the column index is one we just need to give some space here and also we want to get the result set dot get string so the type name is of type string so we just give string and it's of column index 2 and also we want to get the age as well so for that just type result set dot get int and it's of column index 3 so this will basically print all the data's id name and age so the next step is to close the connection so for that we just need to write connection dot close so this will close the connection and if I just run my application so this will show something like class not found exception so I have already mentioned that we need to add the jar file as well so for that go to your favorite browser and just type download uh, mysql java connector and just type maven and click enter and just go to this first link from mavondepository.com and just choose the version and you just need to download this jar file just click on jar so this will download the jar file and just click on keep so now just let me click on the show in folder so that i get the location so it's on downloads user arjun and download so i just need to go to my IntelliJ here and just click on the file project structure and down here you can see the modules just click on modules and just click on this plus sign here and just click on this jar or directories so we just need to go to that file location just go to this downloads in my case and select this jar file and click on ok and just click on apply and click on ok so if i again run my application so this should show the data from that database so you can see here this data are coming from database i just need to give one space here so let me just give one space okay just give one space here and just run this application again so this would show the space as well so now you can see it's getting formatted here so this is how you connect your java application with mysql database Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel.